let's look at how to solve equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. We're going to start by looking at the example 7x minus 1 is equal to 4x plus 8. I am now going to set up the problem in the hopes of finding the value of one of these x's. Put 7x's and a minus 1, red for negative. And on the other side, that is equal in value to 4x's joined with 8 positive 1 units. Now the goal is to, um, to find out how much one of these x's are worth. So looking at both sides, I notice that there's four x's here and there's four x's here and I can simplify the problem by taking away four x's from both sides. And I'm allowed to do that because the scale will still stay balanced as long as I am removing the same value from both sides. So now I have a problem that looks a little bit easier to solve. Three x minus one is equal to eight. And now it would be great if I could get rid of this minus one. But I see there's no minus ones over here. However, another technique for eliminating a negative is adding its opposite to both sides to keep the scale balanced. So I'm going to add on one unit here and one unit on the other side. The negative and the positive, they combine to become zero. And now I can remove this from the scale. Now I have three unknown x's that are equal in value. And I have nine positive ones that need to be shared equally with the three x's. Since they're worth the same amount, they must get the same number of units. So I'm going to take these nine units. I'm going to split them up into three groups. And notice that these nine ones split into three groups means each x is equivalent in value to three ones. And that will be positive three ones. So my final answer to the original problem is x is equal to 3. And now I'm going to check that my solution x equals 3 is correct. So on the left side I have 7 times x minus 1. So I'm going to replace the x with a 3 and I now have 7 times 3 which is 21 and then subtract 1 I now have 20. And on my right side I have 4 times x plus 8. I'm going to replace the x with a 3 so I have 4 times 3 which is 12 and 12 plus 8 is 20. My left side was 20 and my right side was 20. So placing x with 3 led to a true statement. So my answer is correct. Let's look at another example. Eric is a dog breeder and he raises two different types of dogs. At birth, an average puppy of breed A weighs 14.8 ounces and gains at a rate of 0.5 ounces per week. Breed B is a little bit smaller, and its puppies weigh on average 11.6 ounces, and they gain about 0.9 ounces per week. If we had two puppies born on the same day, about how many weeks would it be before the two puppies weigh the same amount? So, breed A starts off at 14.8 ounces and gains about 0.5 ounces per week, so we're going to use the variable W to represent weeks. And breed B starts off at a weight of 11.6 ounces, and it gains 0.9 ounces per week. So again, we'll use the letter W. We want to know when breed A is equal to breed B. So our equation would be 14.8 plus 0.5W is equal to 11.6 plus 0.9W. Remember our goal is to get the variable on one side and everything else on the other. So first I'm going to subtract 0.5w from both sides of the equation. And that would leave me with 14.8 is equal to 11.6 plus 0.4w. So I will next subtract 11.6 from both sides. So it gives me 3.2 is equal to 0.4w. Now I want to get w by itself by dividing each side by 0.4 and that would give me 8. So puppy A and B should be about the same weight in 8 weeks.